Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna show you how to delete iTunes. So let's hop right onto the computer here. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you want to remove iTunes from your dock because it's usually on your dock by default. So you can simply click and drag the icon off, just like so. Now it's gonna remove it. And then we wanna open up a finder. I already have finder here. I'm just gonna hit Apple N bring up a new window. You want to go down to your applications and then cruise down to iTunes. Here we go. Then from here, I can either click and drag or right click. I'm going to right click and move to trash. Okay. And then it's going to ask you for your password just to make sure you are the correct user. Type in my password, hit okay. All right, and that's basically it on uh, deleting iTunes, but there's one extra step, uh, which I'm about to show you right now. Uh, it's not permanently deleted right now. It's almost like a, uh, a safety net, so to speak. But let, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, if we go down to our uh, trash can, trash bin here, click on that. That's gonna open up the trash window here and see iTunes still exists on my computer here. If I want to permanently delete it, I can just go to empty. Okay, and now I'm not gonna necessarily empty it and delete it because I do want to keep my iTunes on my own computer, but once you hit empty, that will permanently delete it. So I do suggest uh, making sure that you don't want iTunes on your computer anymore. But that's basically it on how to delete iTunes. If you do have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.